I forgot to make an intro when I originally did these recordings. So, welcome to my van insulation build. This is my process of cutting out some reflective window coverings so that way my van isn't hot and sweaty and very visible when I am sleeping in it because you don't want people looking through your windows when you're laying like basically at eye level with everyone walking by. This video is going to be about my process. I like to consider this van build for dummies, but instead it's van build by dummies. <laughs> Enjoy. So I got this brown packing paper and I'm just going to use it and like push it in to the corners of the window along my lines so that I have a pattern for my reflectics. This will be my insulation. Driver's side one, part two. Okay, and that should work for both sides. Cool. This window is so big. My paper is not big enough. I might have to do it differently for the front window. Maybe I'll just measure it because it's pretty square. And then I can just round the corners if I want to. This shit's big! <laughs> Shelby got me these snacks for Christmas. They're so good. Not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me, you don't have to give me money, just send me more. Let go. <laughs> and when I cut the actual reflectix, I'm going to do it a little bit bigger than my pattern. Not like a ton, but just a little bit. And then I can fine tune it as it goes in there because patterns are great and all, but I'm not that detail oriented sometimes. This part's hard because there's this like little mechanism that pops the window open so we'll have to cut around that for our reflectix but we'll make it happen baby we are making it happen another reason why i want it to be bigger rather than just perfect Fuck my life. is because i wanted to like kind of have to be forced in there so that it actually stays up without any other adhesives. I don't want to put magnets. I don't want to deal with it. I don't. I want to be able to just pop those babies in there and they do their job. They do their sweet thing. They're the same on both sides so I don't need to make two patterns which is great for me. Back pocket window. I don't know what that means right? Right? Yeah sure. I should have put like top bottom on it. I still can't. I made a point to mark where these two patterns meet so that way when I'm taping them later to make the reflectix I know exactly where they should line up. This is so fun. I'm having so much fun. Snack break. This one's cool because it has this like pouch. But I don't know. Look how far that goes in. That might be just like a perfect square on this one, in this corner anyway. But that's gonna be really nice for holding it up. So shout out to whatever this piece is. Very nice. I almost wish I had tape. Hold on. Do I have tape? <gasps> Angela of the Past does me right sometimes. Shout out to Angela of the Past. This is packing tape, hopefully it doesn't leave a residue on my window. I will be sad. Wow, so nice. Pencil. Boom. Bada. Bing. Ugh. Stay, you beast. This is where that curved thingy is. Kind of. But it goes in like, I do like a dotted line. So we know we got some extra room there. Back 
side door part one yeah top bottom epic <laughs> That kind of is perfect. Okay. Pencil, 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 pencil. Yeah, pencil, 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 pencil. There's maybe a little gap. Maybe just a just a little bit. But again, this is why we're gonna cut everything too big. So that it we could tweak. Make it work. Make it happen. Oh yeah, this is my frame in the van, one part. Um, she's kind of cute or whatever. This is not stapled down yet. I'm still working on it. But it's nice to have a little platform to put all my mini things on. Kind of fun. We're getting somewhere. Disclaimer, I have no carpentry experience. But... I'm kind of queer, so like I think that makes me more capable of being flexible in this world. I do more things. It's proven. It's just fact. Ask any other queer person. It's very difficult in a lot of other ways, but generally you're better at things. I recommend getting like a big roll of brown paper instead of these little sheets that I got. So when you're doing this, you don't have to keep doing this, you know. We're doing the tape thing again. Tape. Tape, 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 into your corner where you belong. Stay, you. You beast. Sweet victory. Okay. Let's go cut some reflectix. Yes, I am doing this shit on my bed because it is comfy. And I do everything on my bed, okay? Okay, I have my assistant with me today. Nebsy Cat. My assistant in charge of scrapbook paper and chaos. Man, see? Chaos. Man, hey. Too much chaos, okay? We need an adequate amount, not over. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's the assistant. Okay. Get. How am I supposed to work in these conditions? The next step here is just going through and following all my lines that I drew and cutting out these patterns that I've made and taping them together so that way I have a nice piece that I can tape down onto the reflectix and have a good guide for what the shape of each of my insulation should be. For the front window, like I said before, I didn't make a pattern for because it was just too large and it was a really square window. So I just measured how long and how deep I needed it to be and then when I compared that to my reflectix, my reflectix was actually too small. So for that piece, I ended up taking some reflective insulation tape and kind of morphing two pieces together. I ended up using a lot of my scrap material for that because I had a lot of just random bits and pieces around that I wanted to utilize. And yeah, it came out pretty nice. I wish I had made it even bigger now, but say love you. Here I am just taking a bunch of tape and laying my pattern down onto the piece of reflectix that I cut so that way it doesn't move around as I'm cutting it and then gets all a little weird shape. From experience with sewing, I would rather cut not enough and leave a lot of product and material to work with than cut it too small and just be like, fuck out of luck. And I'm doing this for my van build, but you can really do this for like, just your car in general, if you don't like getting into a hot car. If you live in Florida like me, gotcha. 
ratchet sucks, but. Number one. <laughs> Whee! Oh, extra material? Which might be useful later. If not, maybe I'll do some fun art project with it because it's so shiny and hot. So I just picked up this Reflectix material from Home Depot. They sell it in big rolls. If I were to do it again, I would have made my stencils first and figured out the exact square footage of the Reflectix that I needed so that I wasn't worried the whole time about not having enough material, but I risked it and it came out. Okay, yay, now we're on to the next part where I am going through fitting in my Reflectix with the stencil still taped to it and little by little, kind of carving off the excess until it fits really nice and snug in the space between the window and the rest of the door. Looks good. I just gotta do that to the rest of the van. What I'm gonna have to do is take some tape in this corner because I didn't cut it quite perfect. Just so that way I have no light or heat flipping in. And I'm just gonna trim maybe an extra quarter inch here and here but for the most part it's looking pretty good so all I did was I took this one and I copied it did my measurements for here did a slit this one I ran out of reflectix so if I had a little bit more it would stay better but honestly I'm not looking for a hundred percent perfect but it gets pretty dark in here how it looks from the outside. I mean, kind of dorky. It's definitely obvious that I'm trying to keep people from looking in and keep heat out, but honestly, since it's a minivan and not a van van, it might look like I'm just trying to keep it cool for my kids when I pick them up from soccer practice. So maybe it'll read okay. I know some people when they do their conversions will put black fabric on it so it just looks like blacked out windows, but I don't know if I want to put in the effort or if maybe I want to do a fun fabric, but for the time being, for the start of the build, I feel like it works. <laughs> 